and now we are going to see what is the advantage of bjt over mosfet even though mosfet has taken over the complete market of bjt there are some advantages which still mosfet cannot uh, overtake BJ, bjt in some aspects so we are going to see that in uh, see here bjt uh, is mostly preferred in digital applications when you compare to mosfet because you have some special features of bjt which makes it suitable candidate for application in digital world First one is switching. So compared to MOSFET, these BJTs are very speed, very fast in switching. They can switch from on to off state and off to on state very quickly compared to MOSFET because in BJT we don't have the capacitance effect as we have in the gate. So in the gate, we have a metal oxide semiconductor layer which forms a capacitive effect, right? So that capacitive effect is more pronounced in MOSFET and it is not that much pronounced in BJT. So when you multiply that capacitance by the resistance, what you call as the time constant, the time constant is very, very less for BJT, which is very, very high for MOSFET because that capacitance is very dominant in nature. Okay, that is the first point. BJT is preferred over MOSFET in digital application because of this reason. The capacitive effect which is present in MOSFET which is dominant in MOSFET is completely very little uh, in BJT. The second one, this time constant is going to reflect on the speed performance at which the MOSFET can operate. So this time constant, what you see, the capacitance multiplied by the resistance, RC. So this RC is going to influence your circuit. If RC is going to be very, very large, then the circuit takes a longer time to switch between on and off states. If the time constant is very, very small, then you can say the circuit is acting in a very faster manner. How can I, uh, how can I uh, eliminate this? Widening the channel reduces the resistance. My goal is to reduce the time constant tau. And tau is equal to R into C. So if I widen my channel, my resistance will decrease. Thereby, the time constant will reduce. But what happens? It will increase the capacitance. So widening the channel is not going to make me any help because when I widen my channel, R reduces, C increases. So effectively, time constant remains the same. Okay, one possible way of reducing the time constant is reduce widening the channel. But widening the channel has no effect because it reduces the resistance, it increases the capacitance. So when you multiply R and C, the net effect is going to be neutralized. Okay, so that is one advantage BJT is having over MOSFET. On the other hand, reducing the width of the channel increases the resistance but reduces the capacitance. So uh, if you increase the... Uh, channel width in one type of MOSFET, it will reduce the resistance and increase the capacitance. But another type of MOSFET will increase the resistance and reduce the capacitance. So effectively, the time constant is going to be same. So see here, uh, if uh, generally, if normal MOSFET R into C equal to TC1, if I'm going to reduce the channel width means, in one case, it will become 0.5 into R, the capacitance will increase by two times. So the time constant will remain same. It is effectively TC1. In other case, resistance will be increased by twice and the capacitance will be decreased by half. When you multiply these two things again, the time constant is going to be same. So the net effect in restoring the time constant is very, very impossible in MOSFET. So they clearly say there is no way to minimize the intrinsic time constant for a MOSFET. So what you can do is you maybe you can try out the different things like the various process using different channel lengths. You can use different channel height. You can use different gate thickness. And you can use different materials other than silicon and see that if you can adjust the time constant. This problem is mostly avoided in BJT because BJT does not have a terminal called gate. And especially in that gate, you don't have the capacitive effect. That is why BJT is able to lead MOSFET over digital applications. In digital applications, BJT is leading MOSFET because this capacitance uh, present at the gate terminal is going to create problem for you. What type of problem it's going to create? It is going to make my device slower and slower. The intrinsic time constant is going to be larger and larger. Okay, that is the... Even though we say that completely MOSFET has taken over BJT, but still in digital applications, we still see the usage of BJT to continue because of this one point, the intrinsic capacitance, which is uh, effect which is available in MOSFET is completely absent in BJT because in BJT, you don't have a terminal called gate.
okay we have a terminal called emitter base and collector and they we don't have a combination of mos metal oxide semiconductor right so the formation of capacitance is virtually not possible in a bjt so this is the advantage bjt is having over mosfet the second application where bjt is very very advantageous over mosfet is and the it is a continuation of the first uh, reasoning while driving several fan out gate resistance of the mosfet in series with the gate creates a secondary time constant see you have something called as fan out in digital fan out means how many output circuits your circuit can drive so you have one mosfet means if from your uh, drain if you can drive two more circuits then the mosfet should provide current for the two two more circuits accordingly the mosfet should be strong enough to provide current for the two circuits when you connect the two circuits from the same drain terminal of a mosfet okay what happens because of this when you drive more devices from a single mosfet then it creates a problem called a secondary time constant So already one time constant we have which is very large now when you have one more time constant which is because of fan out fan out means how many output circuits i can drive from a single device so this is, uh, causes unnecessary delay in your signal so when you increase the number of fan out when you are going to drive more devices using a single mosfet device then this delay will be very very large which is which is not suitable for the digital applications but bjt la how much ever output circuits you drive the delay is very very minimal and it is comparatively very very less compared to mosfet the secondary time constant is going to be caused because of fan out so how can you minimize it is by increasing the channel width due to decrease in resistance and decreasing the channel width being given for reducing the output capacitance so same effect i want to reduce tau tau is equal to r into c the only way is if i want to reduce tau i want to reduce r reducing r can be done by minimizing the channel width but we have seen that when you minimize the channel width the capacitance is resistance will decrease but the capacitance will increase by an equal amount okay so that drawback is going to uh, ensure that the fan out problem is going to be unsolvable in mosfet the first uh, first uh, application first uh, advantage of bjt is also seen the second advantage because first advantage we have seen the time constant at the gate terminal now when you drive different circuits using the same mosfet the time constant is available at the output also which is very very large okay when you consider the first problem this problem is very very small because first time constant is very very large compared to this time constant so in clearly in both the cases first case because the digital application where the switching time has to be less bjt is very good and when you want to drive more number of circuits using the fan out concept there also bjt is found to be very very suitable because in mosfet you have the uh, a capacitive effect which is going to prevent you from doing that and the second thing when you compare uh, this time constant from the previous time constant this uh, somewhat you can ignore this factor but the previous time constant is very very large for a mosfet to uh, use it in digital applications so the bjts are better to drive the other gates since they can provide more output current than mosfet this is the second point this is called as fan out the bjt is how many ever output circuit you connect to the bjt they can drive them effectively because they can supply more current to drive all the circuits so this allows the fets being driven to charge faster therefore many integrated circuit involve mosfet driven inputs and by mos outputs so when uh, you this problem is there in mosfet i cannot use this because the current output from mosfet is very very less and also the timing time constant is very very large so that it prevents the usage of mosfet as a switching circuit in digital applications okay so nowadays uh, all circuits do not uh, involve mosfet so they involve a combination of mosfet and by cmos uh, output side so i told you yesterday cmos cmos is complementary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor so complementary means you'll have one n type and one p type so when you combine both you get complementary mos that is called a cmos so you will not use mosfet altogetherly in a complete circuit because the time constant is very large so you will use a combination of mosfet as well as by cmos output so you will have a combination of these two circuits to ensure that at least to tie some uh, at least to some Extend. I minimize my time constant. Tau. 
and time constant tau is given by tau is equal to r into c resistance into capacitance r is resistance of your channel c is the capacitance of your gate